What's up guys, another day, another video. I was here last week to check out the drive and I found the screen. Cool, I didn't even know it was there for the longest time. But it closed in 1987, it was called Meadowbrook. Um, I'll throw some pictures of it. Um, I found a few pictures of it uh, right before it closed or maybe right after it closed. And um, I've been in there once already and it's incredible how much, how everything's just overgrown in there. But um, like I said, I was here last week, I found the screen this week. I'm gonna try to find the snack bar. We go by where like the entrance used to be. I'll point out where the sign used to be. There used to be a ticket booth there. All that's gone. Um, it's rarely really overgrown. So hopefully we can find the snack bar um, and we'll go from there. All right guys, here's the entrance. Old entrance, sign's gone. Get in here real quick. All right, like I said, I was here last week. All right, there we go. All right, so this is the road right here where the drive-in goes. This all land is all for sale. They recently took down the uh, no trespassing sign that was up on that gate behind us. So I figured it was uh, should be safe enough to walk. Um, you always, I always get nervous when I do any sort of abandoned, uh, place, even though this one doesn't have any trespassing signs on it. Um, alright, oh jeez. Let's keep on walking back this way. This is the road. are creepy though, I'll tell you that. Basically, it's not way. That's the screen over there. See all these little, this is where the cars would park. Oh, that's pretty cool. All right, let me see if I can, but um, I think it's kind of worth it just for this shot. That's pretty cool. So overgrown. This must have been like a wetlands that they just wouldn't let them continue to use. If there was a building on here, I have no idea where it would be, but I'm going to walk back to my car, but pretty cool. guys we actually made it I had to stay on the path and it literally led me right to it phew definitely dilapidated holy moly there we go well, there's definitely a fire out here 
Oh, never mind. That's just the roof. All right, let me just zoom out that to 0.5. You can kind of see the screen in the background over there, guys. Whew. Definitely not safe to be staying in here for too long, but pretty cool. Definitely worth the worth the walk for sure. See if we could find uh, any any remnants of any sort of signage or anything from that time period. Got some power here. Oh, this might have been a sign. It's kind of. I don't want to move it too much around. As you can see, the roof's already like falling in. Oh, toilet seat. So there were bathrooms in here. Yeah, this thing is just tattered for sure. Absolutely destroyed. Pretty cool though. I didn't even know this place existed till about two years ago. Or a year ago maybe. Alright, this is the electrical room. Or what would have been the electrical room. Power right there. Now, I wonder where their like projection room would be. Yeah, I'm, I'm assuming somewhere in here. If the screen was straight ahead, um, then it would probably be somewhere in the front here. Somewhere up this way. But yeah, man. There's another little electrical panel. Some people have been hanging out here with lawn chair. in here some food smokers lounge oh she's got spooks for no reason that's cool very cool this is one of those rare videos where I'm not really looking at what I'm filming guys so I apologize already look like somebody might have tried to live here for a little while maybe a long time ago little fake toilet seat right here like a shelf, what well, was a shelf, it fell down obviously. There was a gate here. Let's see if we can uh, see if this sign says anything. Ah, oh. that's creepy. Nothing, it's all rusted out. But yeah, a gate was here. Probably employee area, come walking in here. I'm assuming this would be like a hallway. This old door right here. Another door right there. You come walking in. And I don't know. I would assume this is probably the employee area, this side. Obviously very hard to tell because it's just destroyed. Looks like the building went out a little bit further too, honestly. Way out here even. And this is just all collapsed. I'll see if I can... I do have a couple pictures of this place of the building from a distance. I know, I'm going to see if I can try to find something up close. But no, this was definitely worth the walk. This is cool. Like I said, very destroyed, but pretty cool. Not a lot of leftover from 
that time period, honestly. Oh, this is probably the projection house right here. Oh, no, I'm just getting excited for no reason. It's just a wall. See, maybe this will lead us closer down to the to get a better view of the screen. There's some of the poles right there. You know, people would each pole would have a speaker you put into your car. Very wet in here. Another speaker thing right there. Very overgrown as well. So if you come here, just stay on the road, it brings you right to where you want to go. Alright, let's see if we can get a view of Better view of the screen, oh my god. And wear boots. Definitely wear boots. Very wet. Oh, here we go. Wow, look at that cup. That's definitely an old cup. Here's the screen right there, guys. I'll get as close as I can. This might have even been where exactly where I was. It's hard to tell. But it's super wet in here. There's a, probably a reason why this drive-in won't let they won't let them open it again. It's like literally wetlands in here. But there's a screen right there. Pretty cool. Pretty big screen too. Over a thousand cars in here if you can believe it. And where every wherever there's a tree, there was not a tree before. So all these trees have grown within the last 30 some odd years, which is pretty wild, pretty incredible. Like I said, a cool little, uh, little explorer and it's definitely little, you know, but, oh, here's another little uh, concrete thing right there. I think that's an animal burrow right there. Hmm. I don't know, it looks too, too well done. All right. All right. Very cool. I'm gonna walk up this way, maybe you can get a better view. Maybe we'll see some. Yeah, here's the outer wall right here, collapsed. I don't know if you guys can see, kind of see that. An old Budweiser can right here. Yeah, it's pretty overgrown. Another collapsed wall. All right. Like I said it's incredible. How fast it's overgrown. Got overgrown. So fast. Like I said, I'll pop another one of those pictures on of what this place used to look like. So, past, present. Just trees everywhere. Trees, 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 trees. Oh. An electrical box. Some bricks. Some old paneling, wood paneling. A lot of tile. They had tile in here. I bet it was nice. I bet it was nice. Shame. Like I said, I still wish this was still here. Drive-ins kind of made a comeback a few years ago during COVID and all that stuff, so a shame like I said I don't think they'd let them build here now it's way too wet way too wet with all the environmental laws especially in Massachusetts Let's see oh look there's a little bit of a right up there old fixture I'll see if I can zoom in see it pretty cool an old fence part of the old fence no that's cool man very cool here's the back side Still have an old window here. Cool. Just wanted to point this out. This is an old exhaust fan, so I'm assuming if that's an exhaust fan, this is probably where the kitchen was, somewhere in here. 
which kind of makes sense. That's like the back door for employee back door. There's still like tile up against that back wall. That makes total sense. And then over here, some sort of something to hold something. Cool. All right, guys. Cool explore guys I'm so glad we came back here um, let me get my sunglasses out yeah so glad we came back here definitely worth it um, next you're gonna see some magnet fishing because this uh, video is kind of short without it so I put some magnet fishing and went magnet fishing got some pretty cool stuff um, so make sure you guys continue to watch for that make sure you guys subscribe like this video 90% of you guys are watching this video are not subscribed please subscribe to my channel tell all your friends share this on your social media coming up next magnet fishing Peace. As you can see, it's a pretty um, decent sized pond. Looks like a part of a bike, maybe. This, though, this could be a bullet casing. I don't know, I have to clean it up. Hook. Hook. Another one of those weirdly shaped things. I don't know what this is. It's very weird. There's a couple of them in here. Maybe it's a fishing thing. Fishing stuff.
Another hook. Broken tail, no clippers. Strained. Also, um, old piece of metal, like a piece of bottom of a chair or furniture or something. Old spike, really old spike. Oh yeah, you, were you guys fishing? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I got this. Oh wow. Yeah, it's like um, I don't know, a bottom to a chair or something. Yeah. Uh, let's see, I got this spike. Oh. That's like an cool. old, you know, I don't know how old, but pretty old. Yeah, pretty old. Uh, this, it's like I don't know. I'm thinking it's probably a bracket for like a curtain rod or something. Yeah, you can wash it off. So yeah. Find out. Yeah, exactly. I got this the other day when I was here. Oh, I don't know. Wow. Part of a bike or something. I don't know. And then of course like hooks. Oh, Tons yeah. of hooks. That's pretty much about it over here. You're gonna find a lot of magnet fishing in here because. Oh, no. Yeah, a lot. Of, yeah, it's, it's actually pretty clean for the yeah. most part, honestly. It was just I found most stuff like over here, which is like this seems like the older area. So. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, thanks not for bad. showing us. Yeah, absolutely. You guys have a good one. You too. That's gonna do it for this week's video, guys. Thanks for watching. As always, make sure to follow me on all of my social medias. Make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Share this on all your pages. I uh, appreciate it, guys. Happy Thanksgiving.